everyone, welcome to Bodhi Life Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make the arch stitch top. First I'll show you how to do the arch stitch and then I will show you how to connect the two rectangular panels you will be making. Um, to make any modifications, what I recommend is maybe leaving a one inch slit at the bottom and you could also leave the armholes a bit longer. I think both of those would actually look pretty cute. This is the front of the top and here is the back. Another detail I added was at the end, after seaming the sides and the shoulders, I turned it upside down and I continued the arch stitch pattern on the very bottom. You do not have to do that. It actually looked really pretty when it was just a straight line, but I just thought it would be a little fun detail to add. I will um, also include the link to the written pattern on my website, bodylifecrochet.com. This was made using Lion Brand's Comfy Cotton Blend yarn. It has a good bit of stretch to it. So what I recommend is when you do your measurements, you might even want to make your starting chain a little bit shorter to make the top a bit tighter or longer if you want it a little bit more baggy and less fitted. And it's a very comfy top, comfy cotton blend yarn. Um, very comfy, very breathable, but also very sturdy because of that cotton polyester blend in the yarn. So I hope you enjoy this pattern. If you make one, please tag me in your posts. I'd love to see your creations. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments box below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll just give you a little bit of a close up. See, it's pretty stretchy, very um, loose fitting. And I will put the specifics for this size. I would consider this a size small. My chest is about 32 inches around. I think I changed 72 for each panel, but I will be sure to put the details in the um, blog post and in the description box below. So enjoy. So for this stitch, you will need to chain multiples of eight plus three. In this video, I will be chaining 24, and then I'll also chain three after that to be the first double crochet in the pattern. After chaining 24, I will chain three and then double crochet into this fourth chain from the hook. From here we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we will skip five chains and double crochet into each of the next three chains. So here's one double crochet. Two. And three. We will repeat this as we go down the chain. So chain five. Skip five chains. double crochet into the next three so chain five skip five and then you will see that you only have two left. So you will double crochet into the last two chains. On to row number two, you're going to chain three, turn your work, and place nine double crochets into each chain space.
Continue adding nine double crochets to each chain space until you get to the end of the row. Once you get to the end of the row, you're going to double crochet into the third chain of the turning chain. To begin row 3, you're going to chain 5. Turn your work, skip the first four double crochets, and then double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. Now you're going to chain 5 and then skip the next 6 double crochets and then double crochet into each of the next 3 double crochets. From here you will continue to chain 5 Skip six double crochets and then double crochet into the next three double crochets. And you'll do that until you get to the last four stitches of the row. Once you reach the last four stitches, you're going to chain two. And then skip the three double crochets. And then double crochet into the third chain of the turning chain. On to row four, you're going to chain three, turn your work, and do four double crochets into this first chain space. And then moving forward, you will insert nine double crochets into the remaining chain spaces until you get to the very last chain space of the row. Thank you. 
Once you get to the last chain space of the row, you're going to insert four double crochets. And now that you have your four double crochets, you're going to double crochet into the third chain of the turning chain. Row five is our last row, so we're going to chain three turn your work, skip the first double crochet, and then insert a double crochet into the next stitch. Now you will chain five, skip six stitches, and you will double crochet into the next three stitches. Continue to chain five, skip six stitches, and then double crochet into the next three stitches all the way down the row. Once you get to the end of the row, you will notice after you chain five that after you skip your six stitches, you are left with two. So you're going to double crochet into that last stitch and then double crochet into the third chain of the turning chain and those will be your last two. And there you have it. This is the arch stitch. To continue, you would just repeat rows two through five. When you finish your two rectangular panels of this stitch, you will lay them on top of each other with the right side facing inward. Here I'm showing you where I used my stitch markers to mark the place I want the tops of my shoulders to be sewn in and this is the neckline. Here you'll see um, are the two panels on top of each other. So make sure that the right side is facing inward so when you do sew the seams, the seam will be on the inside of the top. Here I'm going to connect the corners and just make sure everything kind of lines up. You're going to stop wherever you measured your armhole to be and leave that hole open. And then you will do the same on the other side. Here is how I connect most of my crocheted garments. It's called a whip stitch. You're going to pre-cut a long piece of yarn long enough to use on this side panel. You're going to insert the darning needle at the corner and insert it on the second panel's corner. And it's just a simple back and forth stitch all the way up to wherever you marked the bottom of your armhole to be. Thank you. 
here is what it will look like when you have finished this side panel going all the way up to the armhole and you will repeat the process on the other side. Something I like to do when I'm making a garment is put it on my mannequin and then I can see what it looks like and see if I need to sew up the armholes a little bit more or even take out some thread. Once I'm satisfied, I will move on to the top shoulder seams and then we'll be all done. Now on to the top shoulder seams. You're going to either use your leftover yarn or you can cut a brand new piece. Here I'm going to use the tail from one of the panels. And you're going to continue the same stitch that you did on the side panel, the whip stitch. Here you want to be sure you're going through the stitches and not through the holes of the panels. Um, it looks a little bit cleaner when you go through the stitches and the seam won't be as bulky. Once you're finished with your seams, turn your top inside out and you are finished. I hope you enjoy this pattern. Please tag me on Facebook and Instagram. Please pin this to Pinterest if you want to share with friends. And come back for more yarn reviews and free tutorials. Happy crocheting!